guys, welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida, and today I'm going to show you all the new releases, everything that is in my Etsy shop at the present time, especially as of today, which is Friday, May 29th, I believe. Okay, so first things up is these washi strips, and they come in two types of paper, which is transparent and the uh, premium matte white sticker paper. Um, as you can see on the matte premium white paper, the color is a little different. These are printed on laser, um, with the laser printer and these and laser paper, and then these are printed on premium matte through a regular printer. So the color, you probably get more color payoff with the um, premium matte white sticker paper. Of course, on the premium matte white sticker paper, it won't be see-through, and this is what it looks like. So there you have that. I don't want to mess that up. And then you have this one here. Okay, and then on the transparent paper, I like transparent paper, but I understand everybody doesn't. So there's that. And I'm also going to um, later do pictures and they will be on my Instagram stories or either my Instagram or if you're in my group, please join my group on Facebook because they see a lot of the new releases first before anyone sees them. And we have a lot of fun in that group. So next up are these pots, colored pots. So I've done the regular pots, the uh, functional minimalist pots, but I decided, you know, some people may want some colored pots and we're doing a lot more cooking now, being in quarantine. So some of us are coming out of quarantine, but we're still cooking. So here are some colored pots. You get the pink, you get like a taupe, a brown and a gray, and they are transparent. So right now, this is just on transparent paper, but if you can always message me if you want it on premium matte white sticker paper. So anyway, next up we have the Beauty Essentials Kit. This kit is so pretty, it's perfect. As you can see, it's printed on the premium matte white sticker paper. You get sunglasses, you get your uh, Mostar leaf, I believe that's what it's called, not for sure, this plant. You get a candle, like a little, Sunday here, makeup brushes. Oh God, I can't believe I can't figure the name of these. They're gonna come to me. Uh, what is that? Perfume, purse, flower, um, AirPods, uh, hands. What I did was I put two colored hand, different colored hands in here because that way we won't have to worry about putting one in and having to just switch it out. And then you get options. If you run out of this one, you can always have that one. And then here is some eyelashes, um, lingerie, makeup palette, um, book bag, journal, wine, heels, coffee uh, mug, and a uh, key ring thing here. Uh-oh, just got out of place. We'll get to that. And then you get six decorative boxes. You get seven of these little small header boxes and they are uh, with 1.2 by 0.25. And then here you get these functional boxes. They're also 1.2 by, uh, I believe this is 0.45. And then you get these decorative boxes here, which and functional, which are 1.2 in width by 0.75, okay? And then next up, we have some icons. We have five bows over a swatch of paint. And then we have the half circles, scallop circles that are decorative. You get your functional script, um, your to-dos, today's, this week, next week, dinner, to pay, to buy, to read, to clean. And then new to the kit is scalloped um, corners and they come in stripes and the dots. And then you have some page flags here. Um, they're also decorative, as you can see. So that's all for the beauty kit, the beauty essentials. Next up, I have some cheetah paint swatches. And for right now, you get two sets. Um, I'm going to work on making just one page of this one and one page of this one. That way you can choose if you didn't want or you just want both of them. 
So there you have it. So two sets of paint swatches of cheetah print. And then last, well not last, next up we have the Target Run Kit. Love this kit. When I saw the um, artwork, I was like, I gotta have that. So it's printed on also premium matte white sticker paper. It's like a nice pretty bubblegum pink. I love that you get this Louis Vuitton, um, what is that thing called? Uh, it's gonna come to me, um, fanny pack, excuse me. You get a Louis Vuitton fanny pack, a uh, cell phone, a Target hand basket, a t-shirt that says, I came, I saw, I bought it all, sunglasses, um, Starbucks tumbler, the little dog, Target dog, planner, lamp, pillow, globe, mascara, Target bag, Frappuccino, um, another basket, some shoes, jeans, another planner, a book bag, and then a coffee cup. That is so freaking cute. Love it. And then you get your functional script headers um, to do today, this week. Same thing next week to pay, buy, read, and to clean. You get your scallop um, corners here in the uh, same print that'll be on your next sheet. Same flags, paint swatches, and three scallop um, half circles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then you get your five bows on a paint swatch, and then you get your colored excuse me, icons. And then lastly, you get your six decorative boxes, seven header boxes. Again, that's 1.2 by um, 0.25. And then again, your same boxes here, your decorative boxes, and your functional, well, functional decorative boxes here. And then I just did this at, because I'm lo I love cheetah print, you guys. I love animal print, period. And I'm like, okay, I've done the regular corner um, stickers. So I wanted to introduce the scallop stickers on a sheet by itself. And I just did one cheetah print here that is the same from the paint swatches. This one here would not go on a sheet, period. I'm gonna figure out how I can do that. But so right now we just have this one scalloped corner, um, corner stickers, and these are printed on transparent paper. Again, they won't be listed on two types of paper because again, the color payoff will be different, but feel, please feel free to inbox me if that's something that you want on premium matte sticker paper. I again like transparent paper. And then last, well not last, I got one more thing, <laughs> I keep saying lastly, but here are some um, dollar stickers. I believe I'll be putting these in the $2 Tuesday, so they won't be up yet, they'll be up $2 Tuesday. And matter of fact, the pot stickers will go on $2 Tuesday, and I'm working on some other things for $2 Tuesday, so maybe some new colors for the highlighter colors. So these again uh, will be up on $2 Tuesday, so they won't be up today. I mean, if time permits, I may put them up today at regular price, but then they'll go on sale for $2 Tuesday. And then here's the last thing. Um, I made an order for some sticky notes. I wanted to sell sticky notes because I like sticky notes and I'm always buying sticky notes from other places. And I just wanted some with my own logo on it and what have you. Well, they came out wrong from the printer. They didn't come out the way that I wanted them. The paper, um, I didn't like the, some of them feel like regular um, sticky paper as far as um, the thickness of it. Some of them didn't, they were inconsistent. I don't know if you all can see the inconsistent. So some is just like a light, a really nice pink but then it looks like a little watercolory and then some is light but what i'm gonna do i only have a limited amount i gave one to my husband um i'll probably be sending one to my best friend and i'm gonna give another one to a friend and so it's only a limited amount and i only did a small order of these because i wanted to um just see if i would like it and just test to see if they would sell so i'm gonna put these as oops in my shop for the limited amount that I have. So I can't say which color that you'll get or you know what it'll look like, but there'll be oops and um, I'll be working on some more. I'm going for a different printer um, for these. So, um, and they'll look totally, totally different. So 
like I said, these just didn't come out right, so I'm just going to make them as oops in my shop. And there's only a little to the amount. I'm trying to see how many more I have left. So it may just be maybe uh, five to six of these. So I'll be listing that. And then thinking of oops, um, so many times I, um, I print things, they don't come out right. I keep them for myself. Uh, so say, for instance, like uh, these Ray Dunn to go coffee cups. Uh, one of them just, I don't know why it kept printing like that, but it's a little off, but everything else is right. So that would, to me is a oops. Um, with these stickers here, um, I didn't like the cut of them because I didn't want the cut to be round. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see on the outside, it's a rounded square. So that cut rounded and just it just didn't print the way that I wanted it to. So like someone I sent them, I usually sent out the oops, and someone's like they didn't see the oops or didn't bother them any. So I said fine, you know. So what I'm doing is I think I'm about going to sell, excuse me, sell these, and then let me see. So one more other thing. I considered this a oops, and when I actually looked at it and I had ordered some similar from someone else that I had forgotten about, and I realized that they're really not a oops, that's just the way the printer cuts them, because the one I ordered from a well-known sticker shop, and theirs was cut the same way. So this would be considered a oops, or where I've picked it up or something like that. So that would be considered a oops, and I'm thinking about just maybe either putting, um, let's say, this, this, and hypothetically, this was an oops that um, sometimes in a kit, um, like this one, this was an oops because the background just wasn't right. Um, I end up switching, as you can see, this is the Beauty Essentials. So let me show you how the Beauty Essentials actually came out. So as you can see, there's a difference. So this is considered a oops, I can't, um, it doesn't go with what it actually is now. So that will be considered an oops instead of throwing it away. I was gonna keep it for myself, but instead of throwing it away, I could sell it. So let's say something like this all would be in an oops package. Not to say that this is it, but just something like this. I have plenty of sometimes these, like this one here. See how that cut? that's an oops, but you can use it. And then it has this little smudge of ink. I would use it, but it's considered an oops. So you may get all of this in an oops bag, depending on the price. Um, so if it was just these things here, some functional items, let's say you would may pay me $5. If it included functional and decorative kits, maybe one or two, I may make that go for like uh, $8 or something like that. So I'll have different prices. They won't, you know, you won't know exactly what's in it, but um, I don't know if I should reveal it. So let me know in the comment section uh, what you think. I'm just trying to think of anything else that would be in an oops. So like here, here's an oops. You can see a little smudge of ink. I just don't like to sell that. Um, I have a lot of things and see I cut deep. So it's still usable. Um, but it's to not to my liking to sell. So this is something that would be in an oops. And of course, I would cut the extra off around here, but that would be considered an oops. I have an oops of my Glam Essentials where a purse didn't cut correct, but everything else did. So that way I just don't hoard these things and um, I get them out to you guys. Um, I've had where uh, these might have had too much of an offset. I personally don't like to sell things with a lot of offset on them. And then here, I mean, I would send this out, but I would consider this an oops because the way my printer caught that. So even though I normally would sell this, there's nothing wrong with these, I'd send these out. And now I'm doing a little different with these. So these are kind of obsolete. So this will be considered an oops. So I'll offer just a couple of them. And once they sell out, they sell out if I come across some more. So each week, look for oops. And I'm going to try and pick a day for the oops. Um, but that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what was your favorite thing out of the new releases. Uh, for me, my favorite things are the corners. I mean, well, I, I know I made it. I like it. But the corners, 
Uh, and I think the Beauty Essentials. Even though I like the Target Run um, kit, I think the Beauty Essentials kit is probably my favorite. And I, and I do like the Target Run. I like pink, but um, I don't know. I just, I think Target Run, I mean, excuse me, Beauty Essentials and the Corners are my favorite out of this whole new release. So let me know what is your favorite out of my new releases. I look forward to hearing from you. If today is your first time ever watching any of my videos, you're new to my content, you enjoy today's content, and you would love to see more content from myself, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you would not miss any more content coming from myself. I would love to hear from you in the comments section. And until the next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.